Okay, so what's your name? Amy Sullivan. How old are you? 53. Okay, so how old are you when the 9-11 attacks occurred? 37. Uh, where were you when the attacks happened? The sports barn spin class. How did you learn about the attacks? Did you see them on TV or... Yes, it was shown on TV while we were in class and no one could really figure out what it was and we just went on about our class and then left the facility. Okay, so what uh, what were your first thoughts when you saw it on television? And we just thought something had happened, you know, to the... Uh, trade the, centers. The, yeah, the trade centers. We didn't really understand what was going on. We just saw a, an explosion. So we were really typically unaware of what actually had just happened. So what... So you didn't, if you didn't think it was a terrorist attack, what did you believe it was? That something just crashed into the Twin Towers. Okay. Uh, what were the tone or reactions of other people around you when you figured it out? Everybody was just in shock. They couldn't believe what just happened, and we just sat there through spin class while this actually just happened. Everybody was just, couldn't believe this just happened. Uh... What was the what was your own household like uh, after the attacks occurred? Just everybody was a little bit on edge, just kind of scared to go out, kind of scared to go somewhere. Kind of you never knew if terrorists were going to attack. You were afraid to go to ball games. You were afraid to go to the mall. You were afraid to go anywhere. You were just scared for your safety. So you were scared of your children's safety as well. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and you were scared about another attack. Uh, how do terrorist attacks make you feel today? Do you, do are they like any different today? Than... No, they're still very scary. Anytime you hear of a terrorist attack, you automatically think, "Oh my gosh, could that happen here? That could happen here." And you do every time you go to any type of event. That's the first thing that goes through my mind. What if a terrorist attacks? And we did have an attack in around Hickson not too long ago, a couple of years ago. He shot up the uh, army center thing. Yeah, the one that was on Amnacola mm -hmm. and then the one that was on Lee Howie. Yeah. Yes, that was scary. That was just a, a crazy person, which, you know, is was just crazy doing all that. But, yes, it is scary. It makes you afraid to go to anywhere, any kind of outing these days, because you're afraid for safe, your safety and your children's safety and everybody around you. So... How like how are the reactions of other people different today than the reactions of other people from 9-11? I think today people are just a little more um, cautious maybe of what's going on and they're not... When 9-11 happened, it, w it was like... That was like the first ever big terrorist attack. And so I think now people are... They're not really used to them, but they're it's not as big of a hype as it was or not a hype um you know talked about mm -hmm. as when it was when it was not 11 and they just keep saying that it's just you know terrorist attacks and it's just it's just scary it's just downright scary so do you think people should be uh do you think people take it less seriously when a terrorist attack happens now than uh in 2001 no i, I think people just go what they just continue to say to themselves, what's going on? This has got to stop. This is crazy. Do you think uh, America itself gets over it too quickly and we don't kind of stay on the issue? No, I know. I don't think we get over it too quickly. I think it always is there and it haunts us and it hurts us and there's a lot of sorrow and pain and trying to figure it out. And, you know, we all want it to stop. Okay, uh... Are you, uh, yeah, I already asked that. Um, uh, now does nine, does what occurred on 9-11, does that affect you in any way, uh, when you fly in an airplane? Are you more cautious? Absolutely. And they do have a lot of good, me take mm -hmm. a lot of security measurements now with flying on the airplane. Yes, absolutely. So were you scared to fly before that? No, you didn't think of, you didn't ever think of a terrorist attack on an airplane before that, so, until that happened. Uh, people were just kind of laid back, I guess. Before that? Yeah, before the 9-11 happened. Well, yeah, they just thought, hey, this airplane's taking us where we need to be, and you know, you never thought of it. And then after that happened, then that does enlighten your world, and you start to think, 
what's going on, who could be on this plane. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, uh, do you think America has changed in any positive or negative ways after 9-11? That, I mean, no, I don't think it's changed negative or positive. I think it's kind of stayed the same. I think there's been other attacks out there that we try to, um, you know, look into and act upon. Mm -hmm. But I don't think anything has really changed. I think people are more cautious, obviously, yeah. and people take more security measurements. But I think it's made uh, people seem to be just there's more crazier things happening. That just doesn't make sense. So I th I think uh, nowadays compared to two thousand and one we're we I well another ter a big major terrorist attack hasn't happened like that since two thousand one because almost three thousand people died and we haven't had another another major attack like that since then. But we have had attacks, but I don't think America takes it as seriously as we should. We just kind of. Like, especially from social media standpoints, uh, we, like, everyone says pray for, pray for Paris, like, there's a ter ter right. uh, terrorist attack in right. Paris. Pray for Paris, but then that's gone in a week. We almost, like, expect these things are going to happen, yeah. and we just kind of take them. Just kind of take them as normal now, right. I guess. kind of take them as normal, which they're not. Mm. They're, they're all awful, and it shouldn't be happening. And it's terrible for kids, like, millennials, for this generation to grow up in a terrorist attack. Oh, absolutely. Like, society. Uh, do you think 9-11 could have been prevented? Uh, to my knowledge, I would say no. I mean, no one ever expected it was a big shock to America that that even yeah. happened. Like yeah. nowadays, nowadays you would say yes, like it could definitely be it have been prevented but you yeah you never thought that that would ever happen right that was like the biggest shock mm. of ever for the, something like that occurred it was just a nightmare i heard like uh people telling stories that like everyone was just kind of quiet a few days after it happened just in like, shock yeah just like shocked right. and didn't know what to say everybody was in shock it was just you you would just look at on tv and the news and the twin towers and mm -hmm. you were just like you can't imagine what was going through yeah. those people's minds and the people, you know, that were on the flight, other flights, and saw things that were getting ready to happen. It's just insane. Scary. Uh, are you cautious or scared about another, like, similar terrorist attack happening of that magnitude? I do. I think about it a lot. Especially living here in Tennessee with the nuclear plants and all that, mm -hmm. I think about that a lot. That you know anything like that could happen, and you know, and we're not gonna, and we're not prepared, or you can't plan for something like that. Yeah, you can't plan for that. So yeah, so anytime there's events and all, that's the first thing that goes through my mind is somebody's gonna come in shooting. Oh yeah. Yeah, I even think that at church sometimes when I'm sitting in there mm -hmm. and there's like the Chattanooga Sympathy and orchestra playing at church, I'm thinking, you know, is somebody gonna come in and and blow us all up? I yeah. Mean, there's that's always in my mind. And that's, 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 that's terrible. That's in my mind, too, like at public places where I just sit down for a little while, like a movie theater or something like that. Absolutely. I think about that all the time anytime I go somewhere pub public just because you hear so many crazy attacks. So uh, when you first, like what images stuck in your mind from 9-11? The people running and screaming from the buildings and the buildings falling and everybody is trying to run and... and 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 get out of there and then the image of the airplane crashing into it you can't forget that mm -hmm. if you saw that you can't forget that so uh do you know anyone directly impacted by this no you know anyone uh and do you believe the government should still be able to listen to our phone calls texts etc emails like the nsa do you think that's like a good thing that they should be able to mm -hmm. listen. Yes. Um, you mean like be able to listen to everybody's phone calls yeah. and everything? Because that was a the NSA was a result of 9-11. Right. So, so do you think that's a good I measure? I mean, it's, it's helped. It's helped, like, yeah. capture people and get everything. Well, okay. Thanks for talking. Oh, thank you for asking.